What's going on, everybody? RK Rottweilers. Welcome back. Welcome back. So we got a nice little treat today. Oh, there's a vampire in here. I've seen him. There's a skeeter in here. It's kind of cold out, too, so the windows are up. Got to watch those vampires, man. So, today, we are taking my beautiful baby girl. What you doing, Muzzies? What you doing, Muzzies? What you doing, baby? Yes, 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 yes. We're going to go do a confirmation is what we're going to do today. Um, we're about four weeks out um, from them um, doing their do, linking up, connecting in a major way, should we say. Uh, it's typically about 21 days before you can go check, but how those pecans rolling off the roof, that's funny. Um, yeah, typically it's 21 days, but I go uh, about 28. I normally give it, you know, that extra week because I have actually had them um, tell me that a dog wasn't. And then a couple weeks later, she just kept getting fatter and fatter. So I took her back and then, of course, they said she was. So I just wait a little bit longer. You know what I mean? What? What? Huh? They just get so charged up to ride in the car. It's hilarious. <laughs> they like rolling with pops. So, yeah. Not a long video today. You know, for the huge. Just thought I'd include you guys like I always do. Um, you know, hopefully we get some news coming out of here. You never know. This is just all... Uh, Mother Nature that we're playing with here. There's a cop on every corner out here. Jeez. For a small town, they sure do got a lot of police. <laughs> Mazi, Mazi. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, crazy girl? So... We're going to go on ahead and get on over here. Um, it's not too far away. I got two vets that are pretty, pretty close to me, so I actually use like three different vets for different things. It's always good to have more than one. Um, some of them are better at certain things. Some of them have better price ranges. And some of them are just looking out for you a little bit more, right? So we're going to get over here. We'll get her, uh, get her prego tested. And then I will tap back in with you guys and let you know exactly where we're at. All right. So give us a minute and we will see you guys shortly. All right, guys. All right, guys. So in the first part of the video, we went and did the confirmation. It came back inconclusive. Well, it came back negative and then it came back positive a few minutes later, which was kind of weird. So we just scheduled a retest. Um, a few days out so instead of trying to finish off that video at that point in time I figured I would just retap in today when we're doing our retest as you can see we got our mamas what are you doing girl she's out here yeah so we're gonna go do the retest on her and see where that's at um, <laughs> yeah. and also I kind of wanted to you know, show the process that none of this is guaranteed, guys. Um, what are you doing, knucklehead? Moving around like that? Um, none of this stuff's guaranteed, guys. It really isn't. You know, it's it's hit or miss. You know, we're playing God's game here. This is, you know, this is not up to us, guys. Trust me. Um, whether they take or not, you know, it's, it's Mother Nature 100%. So, you know, we do have those times where they just don't take. And, I mean, that's part of the process like I said not not all the process is good and easy going you know sometimes you got hurdles and bumps and jumps and everything else like you do in life right so we're gonna get back over here what are we doing what's my mom what's my mom what are you doing come here hi hi what? what she gets so excited when we get in the in the car she's actually starting to pee a little bit when I start really petting her and petting her she's just getting more and more excited in life it's really cool um, it's taking a while for her to break out of her shell, but she's an awesome dog. Awesome. 
So we're gonna get over here to the vet and then I will tap back in once we get done over here and uh, let you guys know where we're at, all right? Give us a minute. Alrighty, so we're just now coming out of the vet. Um, you know, they'll call me back here in a half hour, hour or so, give me the results. But, just wanna let you guys know that I will go on ahead and post this video regardless if we're confirmed or not. Um, once again, just kind of trying to let everybody have an understanding that, you know, nothing, nothing's 100%, nothing's ever guaranteed in life, period, right? Especially when you're dealing with new life, right? Um, it's kind of how it goes. So I will tap back in once the vets call and then let you guys know what's happening. All right, there we go. All right, guys. So I just heard back from the vet. Um, normally I kind of sit there and uh, wait but today I had a bunch of stuff going on. I got my monster in law in town. Um, you know, she's looking for some homes out here. Of course, I just uh, had my youngest baby girl out here. We just took her back to the airport. So just had a lot going on. So I told him to give me a call. And I told you guys that regardless if it was, you know, positive, negative, whatever, with the confirmation, I was going to retune in and, you know, just, just kind of keep it real, you know, with what's going on. So we did get confirmed. That's a wonderful thing. Um, yeah, this is uh, this is my baby girl's first litter. She is, guys. When I tell you she's a gorgeous Rottweiler, man, I don't I don't know what else to say. Um, you know, you can see the videos where I showed you know Ace and her locked up. Um, she, out of all my Rotties, she probably has the most unique features, if that makes any sense. Because um, they all look different, especially to me. Maybe to other people, they all look the same, but all my dogs look different. I mean, entirely different, to be honest. They, they all have such a different look, it's crazy. But she just kind of has some of the most distinctive features to me, you know what I mean? I believe she's almost the darkest one as well in color, so she's absolutely gorgeous. Um, this is my female that is a direct import from Russia. Um, she came from my brother, Tony. Uh, he actually brought her down to me here at the house when we just moved in last year. Uh, it's kind of our housewarming gift, you know, to my wife and I. So thank you, bro. I appreciate you for that. Um, gosh, she's gorgeous, man. She's gorgeous. And I know it took a lot out of you just to give her up, bro. So, you know, to, to send her, you know, over here to me, I knew that, you know, you knew she would still be in the family, and she is. So thanks, bro. I appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? Um, but with that said, we're ready once again. So, yeah, I've been getting calls even just since I started posting the videos about them being linked up, things like that. So... You know, if you're if you're serious about, you know, going ahead and getting you a puppy, give us a call, you know, get on that list, make sure that you're securing your puppy, you know, sooner than later. Um, of course, it's not the last litter we're going to have, you know what I mean? But if you're if you're ready now and these will pretty much be Christmas babies, they're going to be going home a little bit after Christmas. So. But I don't want that to be a factor, don't. A lot of people think that that's a great Christmas gift and they don't quite understand what they're getting into. It's a great Christmas gift if you know what you're doing, right? But don't just think that you go buy a puppy for your kids and then, you know, it's all over with. It's just beginning. It's a whole world of things that you're opening up, right? It's a whole can of worms that, you know, if you're not ready for that smoke, then don't do not do that. Don't do that to my dogs that you're getting from me, which will then be your dogs. But don't do that to my dogs. Don't do that to yourself. Don't do that to your family. Don't, you know, just, you know. Hold off and wait. Don't do not do that as a, hey, surprise gift. Surprise, uh, but really, how are we going to take care of this dog? You know what I mean? We're not ready. So make sure you're ready. Make sure you have the space. Make sure that you know you have an understanding of what you're getting into. Um, you know, I pride myself on kind of making sure that they, they go to great homes. I can only, you know, vet people so much and, and, and see where they're at. You know, everybody... Like anything else you know we we let people know what we want them to know right in life so I do my best I really do but you know that we're also all grown adults here right so you guys need to make sure that that you're ready that you're ready so we are confirmed it is a wonderful day like I told you this is one of my days where I get all giddy um, you know this day of course delivery day and then take home day you know those are just my three days that just really God, it just gets me going. It really does. I don't know if I have a little glow to me right now, but, you know, for every litter that I have, I'm thankful, very thankful. I'm humbled. I'm blessed. <sighs> you know, I love it. I love it, guys. So, you know, if, if you guys are looking, just make sure you give us a ring, 303-250-5669. 
uh, just reach out, give us a call. No, I'm not, not going to talk about business on the comment section or anything else. And please, if you're a supporter or something of the page, don't don't go in and answer other people's questions for me. Please don't do that. Don't do that. It's rude and disrespectful. And even though if you have the best intentions in mind, you're stepping on my toes and you're being disrespectful because you're trying to conduct business for me. So please don't do that, okay? Just respectfully don't do that. Uh, with that said, thanks guys for everything. You guys keep tuning in. You guys keep subscribing. You guys keep doing all the good stuff. Um, I hope that I just keep bringing, you know, quality, uh, you know, content to you. Like I said, it's always different. Sometimes it might not be your speed, not, not your style, but, you know, you guys keep coming back. And I try to keep mixing it up and doing different things and getting out here with the dogs and, you know, pregnancy confirmations and, you know, when they're actually breeding and kennel maintenance and, you know, exercising with the dogs and, you know, taking trips with them, whatever it may be. You know, I just I really try to keep you guys in, involved with it all because it's a process and, and, you know, I'm living the life. This is this is what I do, guys. You know, this is not, you know, this is not a gimmick. This is 100 percent what I do. So with that said, thank you guys all. We appreciate you. And if you're looking, make sure you give us a call. Of course. All Butler Kennel Bloodlines, 100%. Um, nobody else can say that other than Mr. Tony himself. So no matter what these breeders tell you, there's a couple of them out there that got a couple dogs, but nobody has more Butler Kennel dogs than me except for Butler Kennels. Work that through your head, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm a little proud of that. I can do that. And I know you guys are watching. Catch you later. <laughs>